I'm going to show you exactly how to build a crypto arbitrage bot in this video right here. So it's going to go long one asset and short another asset. As you can see here, here's all the code. You can have access to it and it imports this file. that's actually already on GitHub and it's all here. So anything I refer to is going to be on GitHub. So you can have access to copy, paste, do whatever you need to do. Um, but use it at your own risk. Obviously don't use my own strategy either. Use the infrastructure. Sorry, I don't know why I uh, changed that language or that accent, but regardless, I'm here to help you today figure out how to build this arbitrage bot because that's what I'm literally doing. So I just turned on the mic and I'm going to walk you through everything. So at this point, essentially, we have this bot that goes through and it looks, it tries to get, the, or it does get the size for each symbol. We put in two symbols that we want to trade, BTC and ETH. Uh, eventually I want to do some stat arb and some funding rate arbitrage, but we're going to keep this super simple to start and just get it looping to make sure all the mechanics work. And once all the mechanics work, then we'll go ahead and put more intricate systems into it and more intricate algorithms. Anyways, I'm doing this on hyper liquid because I'm not going to get liquidated like everybody else did on FTX. Jeez, I am so sorry to hear about that. Uh, I know it's like a year ago today, but still, that's sad. Hyper liquid is a decentralized exchange. Um, I'm only allowed to invite like three people per week. So I have a link below, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Come back next week. I'm going to show you all the code though here right now. And essentially we get the dollar, we take the dollar amount, the $150, or it could be a thousand, could be a bajillion. And then it tells us what the size is for that, because you know, a hundred dollars in ETH is a different size than a hundred dollars in BTC. So there's that code if you want to screenshot it. Now we're down here and we are trying to fill the positions. It successfully fills positions, but what we need to do is make it so it checks each position and has it else, else if, if one position's filled and the others isn't. So what I want to do here in this get position, let's see what it looks like here, because I might want to make it so it essentially gets put the position just for that one position. No, this is what I should do. I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Okay. First off, let's get into a position. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to get into at least a BTC or ETH position. The bot's going to run. It's going to get us into a position. I don't care if it's BTC or ETH. It should put in an order for both of them. So if I go to open orders here, I kind of need to make a uh, function, not a function. I got to do some code for both of them. Like if essentially what I'm looking for, are we in no position? Are we in a long position? Are we in no position? then we'd enter both positions just like we did. Okay. Are we in a ETH position only? Is it short or long? Or are we in a BTC position only? So we need to have kind of like an else if for each one of those scenarios. So we can continuously check to make sure that we're in both or none. I hope that makes sense. Check to make sure if in both position positions or none. Okay. So those are the two things we're going to do here. And, uh, let's see here. How are we going to do this is the question. Let's print out positions 
and see what we got. Positions. Put a time dot sleep. I guess it doesn't matter. It's not going to put us in another position because we're in a position, I think. Oh, I should have printed out this too. Print. We got to get our code working a little faster on top of all this, but we'll get to that a little later. Because it's looping through too much stuff. Okay, so false. We're not in position. Interesting. Because I feel like we are. As you can see here, we are in position. So what that tells me is that our position thing, get position function, let's go to it, get position. It tells me that it's using a symbol somewhere and that symbol does not, it's not the same symbol. Yeah, look at that, boom. All right, I'm going to pass this symbol here into that file now. So F or what it what is it get 